Whoa! What is that? This is an unusual situation. Do you know what kind of animal this is? If you're taking the CELPIP exam, you're going to see a question where you have to describe an unusual situation, okay? And you have one minute to answer the question. Okay, this is on the speaking part of the exam. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how you should answer this question. I'm making a lot of lessons on CELPIP, so if you want more, make sure you click that subscribe button right down there. Okay, so here's the question. You are walking through a park when suddenly you see a strange animal. You call the zoo to see if they have lost an animal. Give a detailed description of the animal. Okay, so there's our question. So here's the animal. What are we going to say? How are we going to describe this animal? Well, we can use a lot of, we can talk about a lot of things, right? We can talk about all of this. It's size, color, shape, uh, it's age. Is, is the animal old? Is it a baby animal? Uh, does it have special features? Uh, is the animal moving? Uh, is the animal aggressive? Okay, we can talk about all these different things uh, to give a good detailed description of the animal. Okay, now if the situation is something else like a food or a product or something like that, then you could, you could use uh, things like this. You could talk about its smell, color, texture, substance, is it uh, bread, is it meat, is it cheese, uh, is it healthy, is it unhealthy, uh, is it fresh or is it stale, is it cooked or uncooked. Okay, there's so many different ways we can describe an object or a food or an animal. Okay, so you just need to use your imagination and, and think about some of these things. Okay, so here's the animal. So what are we going to say? Well, we're not going to talk about the picture. Okay, we're not going to say, in the background, I can see some trees. Okay, we're not going to do that in this question because that's a different question on the CELPIP exam. Okay, that's where we have to describe a picture. On the left side, on the right side, in the background, foreground. Okay, I've made a few lessons on how to answer that question, so you can go watch those. But in this uh, question, we're just using descriptive words. We're describing this animal with as much detail as we can. Okay, so first, we're going to give a brief introduction to the situation. Okay, so you could say, Hi, I'm in Prince's Park right now, and I see a very strange animal that might have escaped from the zoo. Okay, that's just a very good short introduction to the situation. Uh, let's say the question asks you about um, a piece of furniture in a furniture store and you have to call your wife or your husband and give a detailed description of that. Okay, then you could just say, Hi Mary, I'm at the furniture store right now and there's a very, really interesting, strange looking table here, but I think you might like it. Okay. Then, after the introduction, you start describing the object uh, with as much detail as you can, okay? So first, introduction, then the introduction only takes like five or ten seconds. Then you're going to give a detailed description, which is going to take, I don't know, maybe like 40 seconds, because this question is only a minute, right? And you only have 30 seconds to prepare your answer. So when you're thinking about it, just take a few notes, size, color, texture, smell, okay, so that way when you're speaking you can look down at your paper and say, oh yeah, what does it smell like? Uh, how big is it? Uh, 
is it dangerous or all of those questions you can just look down at your notes okay so after the detailed description then uh, we're going to give just a short conclusion okay you can just say at the end of your call to the zoo you can say have you lost an animal like this okay that would be a good conclusion so maybe like five seconds introduction uh, five or ten seconds conclusion and then in the middle uh, you're going to be talking for like 40 or 45 seconds uh, just all about the detail remember you need to give as much detail as you can okay so let's take a look at this and let's give it a try okay I'm going to uh, to answer this question or to, to show you how I would answer this question so if you want to try first then click on the pause button right down there and then after you try then you can listen to my answer to this question okay here's my stopwatch I'm going to start right now hi I'm in Prince's Park right now and I see a very strange looking animal uh, I think it may have escaped from the zoo it's a really big animal it's about the size of a lion it has four legs and a long tail and it has a very strange head its head is a snake and it has a long forked tongue sticking out of its mouth and also it has a pretty long striped neck now the front legs and the main part of its body are spotted like a leopard but the back legs and back of its body are just plain brown fur uh, now its feet are very strange it has the feet of a goat with split hooves the animal doesn't look uh, like it's very aggressive but it looks like it could be dangerous so I'm just wondering if you've lost an animal like this okay perfect that was a minute that was a minute long okay so that's an example of of what I would say you know I described its head its tongue its body spotted over here its uh, back legs okay its feet uh, split hooves like a goat long tail okay so I think I got most of the detail um, in one minute how did you answer it would you say anything different than I said um, anyway so so those are my tips for answering this question uh, just start with a brief introduction and then give lots of detail then just a brief conclusion now you can practice this at home just practice describing any objects around your house what do they look like what color uh, what is their shape what is their size what is their just any kind of descriptive words you can use I think if you practice doing that a lot at home you're going to ace this question on the exam okay so let's do some homework I want you to do the same situation okay an animal has escaped from the zoo and you need to describe it to the to the person you're talking with uh, at the zoo on the phone okay so you need to use as much detailed descriptive language as you can to describe this animal now this kind of tail this is called a, a forked tail just like the snake had a forked tongue this is a forked tail so anyway let me know your answer down there in the comments and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV take care